Hey guys, I am back on Potter World MC, Potter World Minecraft, and I'm actually in the AFK area, which if you remember this from the movie, this is where Harry Potter met Dumbledore after Dumbledore died, so that's actually the AFK area, and when you start moving, you get ported back. So I'm in the Fine Art Fair, real quick, because that's the last video I did, so I'm going to port myself back over to... The Great Hall. And this video, I'm actually going to give you a tour of Hogwarts. The actual castle. I'm not going to go into any other places because I'll probably do some more videos. So, first I got to replenish my food. There's not too many people on anymore. I don't know if some people are in a class or what. Oh, Wizard's P starts in 14 minutes, which is another class I'm, like, really bad at. It's parkour, so if you're not good at parkour, you shouldn't be doing that. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is I want to show you the commons rooms. And to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and warp to them. And this is where I go to warp. I just, I don't know where a lot of the fireplaces are, so I just warp myself over to the Ministry of Magic, and then I warp to wherever I want to go. So, the first one I'm going to show you is my house, which is Ravenclaw. And here we are. What's that say? Pudged map? The Pudged map. Raven House Lounge. Oh, okay. I accidentally ported to the Raven House Lounge. Well, well, this is in Hogsmeade, but nonetheless, this is the Ravenclaw House Lounge. This is not in Hogwarts. This is in Hogsmeade. And it's basically just the lounge for anybody that's in Ravenclaw. I am in Ravenclaw. I'm a proud proud Ravenclaw member. So that's that. And we're gonna go ahead and... Oh, actually, I should check this safe. Oh, there's nothing in it. We're going to port to the commons room, which is what I meant to port to. Here we go. Okay, we're in the commons room. Filch is just... He's just staring me down. There's someone in here. She looks like she's dead. I don't know. So this is the Ravenclaw Commons room. It's very blue and white. It's very pretty in my opinion. It's probably... I mean, they're all really nice, but I would say the Ravenclaw is... I mean, maybe I'm just being partial, but I would say it's one of the better Commons rooms. I think it's designed really well. I like the ceiling, how it looks like stars. This is the little bot you buy your robes from. Trade your robes here. Welcome to Ravenclaw Commons Room. Okay, so if you go over here, and you go up these stairs in the corner, God, it goes all the way up. Then you got some other little areas. It almost looks like since I've been here last time, they redid it a little bit, but I don't know. I think they redid it, but maybe they did. So, uh, it's just a little area, a little lounge area, so then you keep going up the stairs, and you are in, what does that say, House Cup Champions June 2016. Oh, I was not aware that we won the House Cup in June of 2016, but okay. So this is another little area, a little commons area. Yeah, and they definitely, just an FYI, they definitely expanded this since I was up here last time, because <laughs> this is completely different. I don't even remember that. Remember this area, so I guess they redid it. Some random books. Nice little view outside the windows of Hogwarts. Different towers. So let's go back down. I don't think I don't think there's anything up here except like potions. Which is fun. Like if I want to do potions, I might start coming here. I used to go to 
this classroom down by the Slytherin Commons, but I'll just come here. Wasn't I just up here? I swear I was just up here. Maybe they both lead to the same area. Yeah, they do. Okay, I'm nuts. I'm a fruit. So this is just like the lounge area, I guess. Again, I don't even remember all this, so apparently they just like built onto the Ravenclaw Commons room like recently, within the last few months, because this is not how it originally was. But really interesting. Really some nice added stuff. Then if you go down... I think this is actually the exit. Yeah, this is actually the exit. This is how you come into Ravenclaw Commons room. Ravenclaw Commons room is at the top of a tower, which I believe is also accurate to the books. All right, so I need to find the bedrooms. I think it's up this way. I want to show you the dormitories. Here's a little overlooking thing what's that say boys dormitories okay so the boys dormitories are up here and yay we're in the boys dormitories again it looked I'm pretty sure they redid this because this is not what it looked like last time I was in the Ravenclaw Commons room which is fun you know new design you go over here and it's the bathrooms and I don't know so that's supposed to be like a toilet or like a urinal because there's no door it's there's no door it's got to be like a urinal and then there's a toilet sink in there and sinks in here interesting definitely interesting just a hole in the ground i guess that's supposed to be a urinal i don't know um so yeah here's the bunk beds let's go check out the girls room the girls dormitories which I assume we're on the other side those are the boys dormitories so the girls dormitories are probably across here uh, yes okay let's go up here and these are the girls dormitories so like pretty much the same. There's somebody like hiding up there. What is she doing? I think she's trying to sleep on one of the beds. And so there's a sink. I wonder if we have a hole in the ground too. No, we have a, a stand up toilet with a door. The, the boys didn't have a door, okay, in their bathroom. Cause they like to watch each other pee and poop, I guess. Okay, so these are the dorms, and there's like a girl chilling on a bed for whatever reason. These are the girls' dormitories. And there's also, I know there's um, like a dorm for the professor, but off the top of my head, I can't even think about where it is because a lot of stuff is like hidden in this game, and you like, you forget where it is. There's like things behind portraits, and you just kind of got to look around until you find things. I mean, Hogwarts is very, very big. It's very big and very detailed. So that was the Ravenclaw Commons room if you wanted to see it. Let's see. Next, I'm gonna go over to the fireplace. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it over to another Commons room. Let's go down to um, Slytherin Common Room. So this is Slytherin's common room. If you just walk into it before you have the port, you actually just come in over here. There's like a button right there and the wall disappears. And you come down from like the Great Hall. And you come down here and this is the Slytherin Commons room. It's very green. Very, very green. Let's go over here. Kind of a depressing area to live, you know what I mean? It's like, there's no windows, it's like really dark in here. So this is the girls' dormitories. 
again very depressing very very depressing look at how dark it is in here okay and then I assume the boys dormitory is actually down here I'll stop to eat yep boys dormitories which is it's not much different it's like the same room and another little office thing over here like incredibly dark so we're back out here this picture just looks like uh, I figured you might be able to walk through it I kind of had that look about it um did I like this is there's nothing else in here unless I'm missing like a secret passageway but I don't want to make this video like ridiculously long so I don't know what that is supposed to be. Are we underwater? Is that a giant octopus? I am confused. What's this say? Perry. Perry. Perry the octopus, I guess. That's, that's crazy. I, I guess the Slytherin Commons room is underwater. So, since I, I can't really, off the top of my head, ooh, Milky Biscuit has just been sorted into House of the Wise. We're going to keep going, and we're going to pour over to another commons room. Hufflepuff commons room, which isn't called Hufflepuff commons room, though. On this server, it's actually called Honey Badger's common room, which is a little bit confusing. A little bit weird, a little bit confusing. I don't know why they just didn't call it Honey Hufflepuff Commons Room. Oh, there's a bunch of people in here. So this is a little Hufflepuff Common area. Over here is another little living area. Here's a couple of people that... And, like, different houses can come into different houses' Commons Room. That's not a big deal on this server. They're not. There's no, like, passwords or anything like that. A little statue of Drupaldor. And this is the boys' dormitories. Nice little bedroom. I think the girls' dormitories is right over here. The girls' dormitories. Not too impressive, a little bit boring. Again, not as good as Ravenclaw. I don't know, they must really... They must really like Ravenclaw because they... Yeah, I thought that was a secret passageway. That was a secret passageway to get to this little area, which is, I assume, like a little private place for Hufflepuffs to sit and, and learn. Kind of a cool area. You can come here and like chill out. I don't know. And the Hufflepuff looks like it's a little bit underground too, but there's flowers and stuff outside of the windows, so it's... It's nicer. It's a more cheery common room. Over here, some water. These pictures you can probably walk through too. You just have to kind of like walk into pictures and see if you can walk through them because a lot of them you can. That's like some kind of pantry. Whoa, I just got thrown somewhere. I think this is like the head of Hufflepuff's personal bedroom. This is what it looks like anyways. That's a bathroom. This is just a nice little area. There's the greenhouses out there. I suppose if you go up here, it's like the eating area. And a giant bed. This is definitely... Off the top of my head, I do not know who the who the the main uh, leader of Hufflepuff is, but this is definitely his house. Let's see if it says out here, Herbology Headquarters. Yeah, I think I want to say Professor Flitwick, but I don't think that's who was the head of Hufflepuff. <sighs> well, now I got to get back upstairs because I need to find the fireplace again to pour. It. Alright, we're back in here. Okay, so we're back in Hufflepuff, the main Hufflepuff commons room. Warp, dual, this must be where you enter, which 
Um, if you need to find Hufflepuff, it's right by the kitchens. So wherever the kitchens are, you just got to look across, and that's that'll be the entrance or the button to get into Hufflepuff Commons room. So I just have to go over here and find the fireplace next to Filch. So we can do the last one, which is Griffin's common room. Behind the portrait of the fat lady. That I'm sure everybody is eager. There is the fat lady. They actually have the real portrait. And just like in the movie, I think um, the commons room is on the third floor? Was it the third floor or the fifth floor? The, oh, I can't remember. My memory fails me. So you click the button and you go in the fat lady portrait. And you are in here, the Griffin's common room. They were the quarterly dueling tournament champions on July 23rd. Well, pin a rose on your nose, Gryffindor. Ravenclaw's still better. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little view of Hogwarts, the clock tower. Like I said, this video was going to be like a tour of Hogwarts, but honestly, there is so much stuff. I'm probably going to have to make multiple videos, and this video will just be probably the commons room and, you know, whatever else I decide to show. These are the girls' dormitories, so if you go upstairs to the dormitories... Cute little dormitories. Um, you go over here, you got a nice little kind of view over there. Over here it's complete pitch dark, so I don't know what they're doing with that. They that's kind of sucky. I don't know why they did that. But, you know, not anything. Oh, I'm over here yawning. Um, it's pretty late at night. It's like 3 a.m. I'm like making these videos just because I was bored and I wanted to make some Potter World videos. The boys' dormitories were Harry Potter and Ron and Neville Longbottom and all your favorites stayed. And it's pretty accurate. I mean, this is like how it looked in, um, especially that the one movie where they were eating the candy. I want to say it was Prisoner Azkaban. This is like the view and everything of Hogwarts. Wizard PE is starting, so it's just a nice, get a good view of that. Baha, the Gryffindor Boys Dormitory. So we're gonna go back down. So I'm just gonna do oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. I wonder who did that. Who is doing, like, spells? I'm pretty sure this, yeah, that's the portrait you can walk through. Like I said, when you're walking around the castle, um, just try different portraits because there's a ton of them where you can just walk through them. I think this is the head of Gryffindor, which is who Professor McGonagall was the head of Gryffindor. Well, there's her bed, apparently. And her bathroom. This view of the courtyard. Kind of a view of the Quidditch fields. I better eat some watermelon. Alright, so... That was all the commons rooms. And they're very well done. Um, just like everything in this castle. Oh, what the heck is this? There's like a hole in the wall. That was never there before. This is the official Gryffindor dueling area, which every house has its own dueling area. They all have their own private you know, area to duel. This says the final will take place on March 26th. Um, that was like six months ago, but okay. Pretty view out the window. The Gryffindor colors. 
So now that we're done with that, I'm just gonna pour it back over to the Great Hall. Has class started? That's someone talking in local chat. You can't actually, if you saw my last video with the chat commands, I forgot to mention you can't actually ever turn off local chat. So if somebody is near you and they're talking, um, you can't turn that off. I like her skin. Booty. It's cute. So I'm trying to think of where else I want to take you. Um, once you go to the Great Hall, which is basically where you'll get sorted and start when you first go on the server, there is multiple floors to this castle. This is what it looks like. That was the second floor, this is the third floor. Um, it goes up to like the seventh floor. Fifth floor. Sixth floor. I mean, it just takes days and days to explore this. Seventh floor, let's go down the seventh floor. up and up the stairs. I think I know where this leads to, but I'm not totally sure. So, we'll keep going and we'll see where it leads. It just keeps going. It just keeps going and going and going. It's like the staircase to nowhere. It's like, um, do you know that little stupid game SCP containment lab or the creepy pastas? That's what the staircase is like. It just goes forever. This is where I thought it was going to go, and that was Dumb Drubledore or Dumbledore's office. You can come in here. I think you can get his autograph from that box. I already have it. You can go in here and you can do his pensive challenge, which is crazy. Um... No, here's his desk. His hat's up there. The Sword of Gryffindor's right there. Come back here and it's kinda not a great view actually. Um, I'm temporarily forgetting how to get to his bedroom, but I know it's around here somewhere. I don't think I can remember how to do it. Oh, maybe it's down here. Oh, this looks like his study. Oh, his plate is empty. That's like his study. That's really hidden, isn't it? Well, I'm temp again, I'm temporarily forgetting where his bedroom is. I swear it was around here and I'm just not seeing it. So it's like, you know, everything is so hidden that you kind of... There's his bird. You kind of have to really look for things and take your time and see if you can go through portraits, stuff like that. I think this would be leading somewhere, but nope. Sometimes I've seen them hide the daily riddle thing right there. Sometimes, just a little tip, sometimes they hide it there. Depends on the riddle. I don't know, maybe they took his bedroom away or maybe it's over here. This is something. Maybe just his washroom. So maybe they took his bedroom away and now all he has is a bathroom, a weird bathroom too. Like his bathtub only has a little bit of water in it and no windows and oh, a couple of windows. It's purple. So that's his bathroom. 
And on the other side, oh my god, y'all are dead. On the other side, somebody's down there, I can see their nameplate. The other side was his office, and I don't see the bedroom anymore, so I'm thinking maybe they took it out. Or maybe it's back here, and I'm stupid. Um, there's Zoe, a cat. A cat, okay. This is like his back area, where he brews potions. So I wanna think like one of these walls. Is one of these walls you can jump in? Maybe not. I'm just crazy. Does that look like one of them you should be able to jump through? Dunno. Well, I think I'm gonna port back to the Great Hall, and I think I'm gonna end this video here. Because, I mean, I showed you the commons room, I showed you Jubaldor's office, Dumbledore's office. So, I think that's enough for this video. You know, I don't want to have like an hour long video because I can spend a few hours showing you just the castle and I mean there's a lot more than just the castle on the server a lot more